I'm always cheating on my girlfriend. I've been in like five relationships and it's all ended because I cheated. So recently, my dad beat my mom so bad that she got wounded and we had to take her to the hospital. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. <laughs> because it started this way. The, p- <laughs> the parents are cheats. They are cheats. They and cheats. now he- he's also cheating. Yeah. It's another exciting episode on FNF Catchy Dialogue. Welcome, guys. If this is the first time you're seeing us, a big welcome to you. And please do well to subscribe, add your comments, and share. Brother. Bro, bro, bro. Take us straight into business. Okay. So, today we are going to discuss a very interesting story. Share our views and then you put your thoughts in the comment section, as we always do. So, it says here, I discovered I inherited cheating. For my mom and dad. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Is it surprising? <laughs> Just wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let me read. The two of them fit each other like mad. As husband, they cheat. Wife said they cheat. And that's what I grew up with. I'm always cheating on my girlfriend. I've been in like five relationships. And it's all ended because I cheated. So recently, my dad beat my mom so bad that she got wounded and we had to take her to the hospital. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. <laughs> because it started this way. The, p- <laughs> the parents are cheats. They are cheats. They and now cheats. He, he's also cheating. Yeah. And now the dad has beat the, um, the mom. The mom. Continue. Cause yes. It- <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all got settled and they are back together. Nobody fits nobody fits separate them. Mm-hmm. Now so them they beat each other since I was small. So they've been beating each other. Like, it's like husband is beating wife, wife is beating husband. So he has seen the cheating side. Yeah. And he has seen the beating side. The beating side. And now he's already adopted the cheating <laughs> yeah, side. Yeah. So so the pe- the beating side is the one pending. You can okay. imagine. Now, I'm afraid that I'll inherit the beating traits. I'm afraid because I hate it like mad. <laughs> I've never laid my hand on any woman. I hope I'll not have the same problem in the future. If it's cheating, I'm cool with it. But beating a woman, no, I don't want to be an inheritance of that. <laughs> now, the, the, the concluding part. Yeah. He said that if it's cheating, he's, he's okay. cool with it. Yeah. Would you say yeah. this opinion that he has formed is as a result of he's seeing the same thing over mm-hmm. and over again yeah. and it appears normal that, to him? Yeah. You know, for, for most people, right, I think that it's a charity begins at home. And you learn those traits from what you see as normal. So when if you're in the house and then everybody insults each other, you go out and it comes out spontaneously. You don't have to force it. Sometimes you try to curb it, but no, it will just come effortlessly. So he's seen cheating going on several times. He sees cheating as normal. Because if a parent, could, a parent could cheat, some parents do cheat, but to allow your son or your daughter to see it, it's bad. Now you lose respect in front of your son and your son thinks, even if my parents are cheating, why not? Because that youthful exuberance. Exactly. Cheating, you know, when, when you're in your youth, cheating, you are prone to cheating. Like yeah. you want to explore. But if grown-ups are exploring, bro, <laughs> what no, do you say? I, I, it's 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 terrible. And yeah, I mean, aside the fact that the whole story is funny, when you reflect on it, it's worrying. Okay. And this is just one example that we have seen. Because there are, there are other people like as young people who are beating women, abusing women in relationships and all that. And majority of the time, these are things that they have seen growing up. You know, it's, you know, whatever trait, I, I think that character embeds in people's DNA. Your DNA is like, from, from what we understand, it's like an information that has been encoded in some of your cells, right? Now it's the same DNA, two chromosomes that bring up children. So my mom was a hairdresser before. She knows how to braid so much. She, she had a, her own salon until now. 
Now my sister, the one who comes after me, can braid. She didn't learn how to braid from anyone. She braids her own hair. Wow. She does it for people. So, you know, so, some of those traits, my, my dad used to do repairs for phone. She, he likes electronics. And I loved, though I can't assemble them, but I like to gather parts of sport electronics yeah. and the, uh, damaged Tried ones, to right? Figure it out. Yes. So you you f- you have that um that talent you, you adopted from your parents, whether you see them doing it or not. All right. So if you are there, you are witnessing it, they are cheats or they are womanizers, they are drunkards, you 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 see it. And then you see it, you are more likely to practice it and it becomes normal for you. My argument is that this has got to do more with the environment rather than it being embedded so in their DNA. I'm saying that if they don't witness it, then it's like um, a trait that has been passed on to the, the children without them knowing. Like my my mom, my sister didn't come to meet my mom braiding, but she has adopted that. True. Yeah. But if he's witnessing it, it becomes more. Exactly. But yes. I don't think anyone is born with... Um, a DNA in the in their body, one of their chromosomes assigned specifically you know, to trigger them to cheat. No, uh, no, 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 I'm no. no that, you see, I'm saying this, that you this pick, is a you learned pick, behavior. You, you pick wrong some, behavior. You pick some of. I'm saying that there are some traits that you pick from your parents without you even seeing them doing it. Right. So if you are seeing them doing it, then your likelihood of exhibiting that kind of trait is higher than someone who has not witnessed it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I understand you, where you you're get coming it. from. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Because you can see a child who says that, ah, this child, when your dad was younger, he used to do this. So I'm not surprised you are also doing this. Yeah. The child didn't have a bit the dad in the younger age, but he's doing the same thing that uh, sometimes you can even say an uncle did this. And so this you're child doing also that. Yeah, it's, that's, it's, that's it's normal. very true. But if he's witnessed, he's a living testimony of what the parents yeah, it's are an doing. an epitome. <laughs> Of the past, of the things that have happened before. He's reflecting. And what parents don't realize is that when kids are young, this this one sounds like a grown-ass man, yeah. right? When they are young, there are things that you think your child wouldn't see, but they see it. You know? And then it, becomes, yeah. <laughs> it, become, it becomes part of them. You see a child twerking. We've seen videos where children yeah. are twerking. They've seen other people do it. Exactly. And every child's first role model is the mom or dad. Yeah, parents straight away. Yeah, or so if even if not parents, whoever they grow up yes, seeing. Yeah. Yes. So if my mom is doing this, that society perceives as no good, but they are doing, and you you say that it's countless number of times the child has seen or this guy has seen the mom and dad doing it, so he thinks, well, it's normal. Do I feel it's bad? But if my parents are doing it, because they are the ones to correct me and they are doing it, so who corrects me now? Let me do it. Now it won't be long. He will start abusing the women. You see, get it. He, he's now scared he will do it. And that would even cause him to even end up doing it. The fear that this can happen to me. You know, the more you think about something, the more you become it. You see. So you, you are scared. Oh, I, bro, we would hear another story from this guy. <laughs> and he would be beating people up. It's he's, it's he's trying his best not to. But you leave you leave in a house. Because I've heard stories where yeah. there are ladies that they they are with their husbands, they are with their boyfriends. Their boyfriends beat them so much, but they are still stuck in the relationship. That, that's, it's because that's the conversation for another. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they've grown up in a house where that is beating mom. Mom doesn't complain. Mom takes it as, as normal. So she thinks, even if I complain, mom has lived through it. She didn't die. So let me just keep quiet and follow suit. Right? There are some habits that I think parents, if, even if they exhibit it, mm-hmm. they should keep their children away from it especially when there's quarrels when they are doing any social vices like you're a drunkard you shouldn't send your your child to buy drink we in communities i've yeah. go I, I grew up in right yeah adults send children to buy cigarettes they send them to buy alcohol what do you expect of this child exactly that that is why it is very very important in my opinion for parents to shield like you rightly mentioned to shield children from the dark sides mm. that they have and like you rightly mentioned even here children are protected if there's an argument between mother and child they can come and take the child away okay so sometimes you look at these examples and you begin to understand why there are strict rules protecting women and children especially because it. this is a child they, they don't know anything whatever they are picking up 
is what is being coded and put into he's, their head. He's lived through it till his adulthood. Yeah. And something that you've got it. You know, sometimes I've, I've, I've heard, I listened to this uh, podcast where they said, if you want to change any attitude, you have to do it 21 times. Yeah. How that many years has this guy lived in the house with the parents? It's been years. It's not times. So if the, the parents have cheated, let's say 50 times, which will be, could be more. And he has seen it. He has seen it. It's over become a part of over, it's become over a, Yeah. And now he's been in five relationships. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure they've all ended because he cheated. I think this guy is under reporting the five relationships. It could be more. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine he's cheated on each person five times, or let's say four times, and the ladies can't anymore. Multiplied by the number of women. It's crazy. When when you're a youth, eh, like that tendency is higher. Like to want to explore, but if you've lived it, it bec- you you are less likely to be able to control yourself. But you know there are exceptional cases yeah. where people have had terrible upbringing, mm. but they're able to reform through education, through exposure to yeah. you know other good stuff, other good environments, and they're able to not follow suit. In 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 twenty first century, in this century. The guy's friends probably are as terrible as he is. <laughs> Who is going to advise you? No, you see, and you, you see that. So the thing now becomes, you can't then conclude mm-hmm. that all of those friends of his who are probably cheats as well mm-hmm. have their parents cheating. No, I said I said that you, when no, you, yeah, you, exactly. you have that tendency, but this guy has lived it. And the pa- he's adopted it from parents. Yeah, he's exactly. seen his role models the, the doing it. So he, probably he's of, the chief. Of, of the cheats <laughs> so he's now spreading yeah you see how how influential some of these things can yeah. be like it started with him yeah. like very small yeah the seed was planted yeah. now if he's the most influential among his friends oh bro he now bro. spreads the seed bro. and they will also take it that is why he's I the leader of the clique <laughs> it will be difficult to to curb the wrongs in society Seriously. like it will be very difficult Seriously. because it's starting from a very deep root which can't be tackled in the uk completely. in the uk where when you take let's say 100 adults maybe about 60 of them would have smoked yeah you see you you speak to people who have smoked for 40 years 50 years so most probably their children would have seen that because they do it in the house, right? How many, how many young guys like ourselves do we see who smoke? It, it's normal here. Completely normal. It started somewhere and then it becomes a normal part of society. No matter how hard health organizations try to fight it, the children see it from home. By 16, 13, they are already smoking because their parents do it. Ah, that, you understand? You see, on this packaging of these... Um, Cigar and tobacco boxes is written. Smoking is harmful to you. And you see, I, I saw something. <laughs> I saw something uh-huh. yesterday. You know, sometimes you have um these patients that you're taking care of. Yeah. And they are practicing the precipitating factors for the reason why they are sick. Yeah. Like you have a patient who's got lung cancer mm. and they always have to go out I, to smoke. I, I and want to you go want, for a fuck. And then and you... <laughs> You so I've spoken to nah. so I've I've met a few people right <laughs> who are like I told my grandchildren or my uh, my grandchildren because probably when they come to the realization that their COPD or their breathing problems as was as a result of smoking which is about ninety percent of the case right I said I've told my grandchildren they shouldn't smoke I'm so careful about them I've told their parents to tell them not to smoke but before you would have come to that realization to tell these kids that smoking is no good they would have already started yeah and these days the influences are coming from so many yeah. from school from the internet from church from friends you don't realize it early the time you realize it you think it's too late so exactly. i want them to change they would have started already yeah so why don't you be the leading example anyways so <laughs> <laughs> like yeah 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 this brings us to the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed this conversation, put your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think are some attitudes that parents should change or what do you think we can do to reduce children engaging in some of these social 
vices. Thank you so much for staying with us to this point. Have we got any last? Yeah, so I would say that it's now falling on us yeah. as the new generation of parents who yeah. are coming up to make sure that we protect our children for the dark sides, if we have any, mm -hmm. and make sure that we are setting out good examples for them to follow. We should keep close tabs on them. And we can even start with our younger siblings to sure. make sure that they are leading the right definitely, lives. Definitely. And they become um, solutions for the society rather exactly. than problems. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. So... Thank you so much. Like this video, share it to someone. Help us build this community very big. Yeah. And we would appreciate you so much. Until we meet in another episode, we say, bless.